The shortage of OBGYN doctors is expected to get worse in the years ahead. It's having an effect on medical students who are deciding on what and where to practice based on a state's abortion laws. CBS's Janet Shamlian takes a closer look at what's changed since Roe versus Wade was overturned in our series After Roe, One Year. Aaron Duffy is a third year med student in Florida, but this is not where the future OBGYN wants to be a doctor. Unless things change, it wouldn't be my first choice to practice here. What about other restrictive states, Texas, yeah. elsewhere? It's just not an environment I really want to be in. Students like Duffy are increasingly steering clear of OBGYN residencies in states with abortion bans. Applicants in those states plummeted more than 10% since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Some are deciding to avoid the specialty altogether, worried about the ability to practice evidence-based medicine. There's also the big concern of the possibility of being legally prosecuted. You use the man Thursday morning. Dr. Nicole Scott is the director of the OBGYN residency program at Indiana University School of Medicine. Says she's already seen a drop in applications. What I'm specifically worried about is the retention of those doctors once they're finished training and their practice after residency. And that puts the health of all women at risk, as OBGYNs also screen for cancer, perform well women exams, and prescribe contraception. This really isn't just about abortion access. Dr. Amelia Huntsberger was doing that in Idaho, where most abortions are banned. It's very clear that Idaho is no longer a safe place to practice medicine. The OBGYN is leaving for neighboring Oregon after her rural hospital closed its maternity unit, citing in part staffing and Idaho's political climate. If I'm an OBGYN resident coming out of residency and I'm looking around at different options, why would I look at Idaho and say, oh, I really want to move there to the state where I could be charged with a felony for providing medical care? Current doctors leaving and new ones practicing elsewhere, leading to labor pains in women's health care. Janet Shamley in CBS News, Orlando.